Do you believe that you can be in two places at one time? Standing firmly in your world, and yet your foot is in the unseen world of the paranormal? Have you ever walked into a building and found yourself to find exceedingly uncomfortable while you're there? Have you ever heard noises or voices knowing that there's no one else there? Or taken a photograph and had strange objects appear in it that you knew weren't there? This is the world of the paranormal. And yes, millions of people have experienced it. As they were standing in their world, the paranormal world reached out and touched them. We explore the paranormal world looking for answers to questions that have been plaguing the world since its very beginning. We hope to be able to give some of those answers to you. Let me introduce you to our team. This is Scott. He's a lead investigator. He's also a sensitive. This is James, an investigator and our chronicler, taking care of all the notes and the information that we gather from our investigations. This is Bob. He's our tech. He takes care of all of our high gear equipment, things that allow us to be able to record sound and night vision cameras. This is my lead sensitive, Rachel. She's very good. She's able to pick up on things that many others aren't. This is Andy and Patrick. They're the new kids on the block. They're investigators in training, but they have some very home skills that are helping us out. And I am Dr. Louis DeMere of the East Coast Society of Paranormal Encounters, and we are here to try to answer some of the questions that you've been asking. Please watch the following video and decide for yourself. <laughs> Our program tonight will be dealing with the Abbott Mill investigation in Milford, Delaware. The Abbott Mill is owned and operated by Delaware Nature Society, and it is through them that we've had the opportunity to be able to go down and do an investigation to see if the mill's haunted. There have been many stories over the years dealing with the mill, and we've decided to put some of them to the test. The buildings that you see now are about 110 years old. The original foundation goes back as far as the very late 1700s, early 1800s. The mill has always been operated by water, even though it did have a diesel-powered engine available to do so, but was never used. The mill is still in operating order. The Delaware Nature Society had told us many strange stories and asked us if we were willing to come down and see if there was actually any paranormal activity going on. The investigation you're about to see is the results of what we found. There are several pictures of orbs that we picked up in throughout the um, mill by standard digital photograph as well as by night vision camera. Uh, my um, resident sensitive, Rachel, uh, picked up many different things uh, that would lead her to believe that there was an individual trying to contact her. We also had quite a bit of information being relayed on our dowsing rods and um, we're going to show you some of the results of those. Now, some of the things that we were using to do this investigation were digital cameras, night vision cameras, dowsing rods, electromagnetic meters, digital thermometers, and the use of what we call a sensitive. She's not a psychic, but she is sensitive to things that go on. She sometimes hears things and sees things that others don't see. Now, in the course of this investigation, uh, we determined a couple of things. One, I believe I was in contact with an individual that we um, called Jacob because um, we believe that he was uh, a person who was non-schooled. Um, we asked questions earlier if we could get him to spell his name by using the alphabet, uh, using the dowsing rods, and he uh, confirmed to us that he was not capable that uh, he did not learn how to read or write. So we just simply offered a name and he agreed to answer to that. Uh, we found strange sounds with inside the mill. The interesting thing is, is as you're listening to this video taped tonight, that you're going to hear some strange sounds that we can't seem to place. Um, we know that it is not equipment failure. We have tried to compare the sounds to other sounds of mills of this period of time that have been recorded and we believe that perhaps we're hearing the actual grinding of the stones. Also, in a couple of cases, you actually hear what sounds like somebody putting their hand on a microphone and running their fingers across it. Um, this also is something that um, we have not had experienced before. Um, this equipment is good. We've used it on many different uh, locations, and we've never had these types of sounds come out of any of the microphones 
or any of the cameras. So we're almost 100% sure that it's not us. Along with that, you'll see some orbs on video. Some of them are bright colored, some moving quickly. Uh, we believe um, we've established that there's definitely a presence inside the mill and that we are going to continue to follow in this investigation. We hope that you enjoyed tonight's program and we thank you for tuning in. Hello there. Well, we're back here at the Abbott's Mill again. We're bringing out some electromagnetic meters and dowsing rods. We're going to walk through the building and see what we're picking up. We haven't had much response off of electromagnetic meters, but we've been getting a lot of response coming off the dowsers. Um, a lot of energy, uh, moving them around, turning them around in circles, even to the point where I believe we might be in communication with someone. So if you'll follow me, we're going to go check a few things out. Now the mill is filled with all types of equipment uh, that was one time used to do all type of work. So it's a little crowded in here, but there's nothing really um, overly large electrically besides some lights, which is not really picking up anything different on a magnetic meter. So hopefully that would mean that if we do start picking up something, we're not picking up electrical surges from high outputs of power. Try the uh, dowsing rods and see if we pick something up. Hello, my friend. I was speaking to you a little earlier. Are you still here? Can you cross my wands? Can you open them, please? Cross them one more time and then open them. All right. When I ask you a question, if it's a yes or no answer, I'm going to ask you to cross the wands for yes. And just leave them open for no. Are you a male? Okay, open them. Did you work in this mill at one time? Was it in the early 1800s? Mid-1800s? Around 1860? You work here during the Civil War? Has the mill changed a lot since that period of time? You die in this mill? Do you know why you're still here? Is it a place that's simply familiar to you? How many years did you work here? Ten? More than 10? 15? 20? 20 years in this mill. Do you, were you just a standard laborer? A supervisor? Did you die in the state of Delaware? In the city of Milford? Dover? Do you see any other spirits inside this building? Are there more than five different spirits? Ten? More than ten? Around ten number, ten being the number that you believe that you've seen? Are they from the same period of time that you were in the 1860s? Earlier? Do some of the people look strangely dressed like we are? So perhaps there are people here from even a more modern period of time. Are you able to speak to them? Do they notice you? Do they try to communicate with you? Do you mind us being here? <laughs>